Hey guys, what's up? I got a uh, bunch of stuff to open up for you. <clears throat> now, uh, normally I start off with like what I, when I have a bunch of stuff like this, I start off with I find the least exciting, work my way to the most exciting, but I have a feeling that uh, most of the people are gonna be uh, watching this video just for one thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out so you don't have to sit through a bunch of other crap you don't care about. So I'm gonna start off opening uh, Zobie's, uh, I believe this is the third year anniversary fright pack. Uh, I get Zobie's boxes occasionally. I'm a big fan of Zobie, but quite frankly, I don't come for them for their boxes. I come mainly just for the uh, autograph pre-orders and V shouts and such. And occasionally I even splurge on getting a uh, autograph that's in stock, not a pre-order. Mainly as birthday presents to myself. Like, you know, I got a uh, Eamon, Ian McDermott signed Palpatine mask and a, uh, uh, Godzilla suit actor autograph and a few other random things from them, but mainly it's all about the autograph pre-orders for me. Uh, I believe this is actually only the second time I've got a fright pack from them. In general, I don't get horror boxes. Uh, got their uh, regular Zobi box a few times, and I got their uh, gamer box, their first gamer box, I believe, just one time. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's get into this. I have spoiled this. Uh, the themes are. Uh, I think I mainly sign up for Trick or Treat and uh, Misery. Uh, I believe I've only seen Misery twice, actually. Stephen King movies are kind of hit or miss for me. In my opinion, it's one of the better. I'd say probably in my, in my top three with uh, Children of the Corn and the uh, part one of the It remake. But yeah, Misery is a good movie. Uh, then American Horror Story, which... Actually, just recently got into partially because of this box, mainly though because I went to uh, New Orleans recently and I went on a, a haunted tour. And they reference season three a lot, so I'm very intrigued by it. Uh, I know because it's an anthology series, I could potentially just skip straight to it, but I kind of want to enjoy it, so I want to have started with uh, season one. I'm almost done with season one now. Uh, and then there was uh, The Ring, I haven't seen The Ring. It's something that's on my radar in uh, Tucker and Dale vs. Eve, which I haven't seen at all. Not a huge priority for me to see right now, but what I'm saying is it's sort of like a redneck horror comedy type thing. I may watch it eventually, but yeah, I'm mainly here for uh, Retreat and uh, Misery. and I've been really getting into American Horror Story, so I'm pretty excited for the item in here. So first off... Uh, Celebrate their anniversary, they threw in a uh, bonus item. It's some um, uh, Zobi Fright Pack three year anniversary premium hot sauce. I will do a taste test for this eventually. I believe there's a contest for us. I kind of want to see the details of the contest. Uh, not sure what the whole uh, details of it, but whenever I do that, my taste for that, I kind of want it to be a fresh taste for that. So, you know, I kind of want to wait for that. but. Chances are I'm gonna drink it straight from the bottle when we get to that. Uh, so first off, we got our uh, misery item, which is a t-shirt. Got my size right, medium. So uh, number one, st number one fan standard typewriters over 100 years of quality. So that's kind of a nice, funny t-shirt. It's pretty cool. Uh, then we got our. Uh, Pen limited to 700. Nice size, pretty good design too, I'll say. But once again, not something I'm really familiar with, but it's our uh, Tucker and Dale versus Evil item. I believe it is their standard pen, not a uh, one up. Uh, next up, we have our uh, ring item, which is this little metal plate. Kind of hard for me to recognize it as. The ring, I mean, even with my limited familiarity with the ring, it's kind of hard for me to recognize it, but I believe this is from uh, Bloody Gorgeous, which I know is uh, pretty popular amongst Zobie collectors. Quite frankly, I'm not really into it, but still, I'll probably hold on to this at least until I watch the ring so I can see how much I really appreciate it. Uh, next up, I'm... Uh, Fairly excited for this. I should go ahead and uh, dig up the spoiler sheet. Why not? Uh, so this is from uh, really Smith, who was uh, 
the rubber suit guy, rubber, rubber man in American Horror Story. So I'm kind of glad that they did this. I was anticipating that uh, whatever the American Horror Story item would be something that I have to watch the series for a while to be able to appreciate this, but this is from uh, season one, so uh, kind of feel like it's interesting that uh, they use a different actor for the rubber suit, but yeah, uh, for those of you who haven't watched it, I guess, spoiler alert, but uh, so uh, there's this kid, uh, Tate, who uh, killed a bunch of people at his school, and then uh, I believe he was shot by the police, or he may have committed suicide, honestly, I can't remember it. Either way, his ghost now uh, haunts the house there, and uh, he puts on this rubber suit to uh, have sex with a, uh older living lady and gets her pregnant. My understanding, I haven't watched it enough yet, but my understanding is that uh, Baby is the Antichrist. So yeah, I, I think it's kind of fascinating that they use a completely different actor for the rubber suit, though. But, uh, next up, our last item. Definitely what I'm, uh, most excited about in this box. Something that I've been wanting for a long time is a, uh, 1114 that's signed by Quinn Lord, who was Sam from Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat is one of my all-time favorite horror movies. Uh, and I've been really wanting to get a, uh, Quinn Lord autograph. I love this print, too, uh. I have a uh, shirt that's, uh, I think it might have the same design as this print, actually, but it's also cool because it, uh, it's a good print to get signed by multiple actors, I'd say, so if I get any opportunity to get other uh, trick-or-treat actors, it's nice to mail in or bring it to a con with me if I'm getting it in person or whatever, then we have their uh, typical uh, thank you note. Hand signed by JR with a stack of the first Fright Packs. Uh, I think the Fright Pack that I got previous to this was the second one. It had the, uh, uh, oh, what was the kid's name? Gatton Matarazzo signed Funko Pops. Thomas is sitting right here. I think he wants this box. Do you want the box? Do you want to come up and hang out with me? And do either one if you want. I love Thomas. My buddy. Uh, so... Let me set all this stuff aside real quick. So what do I want to uh, open for you next? I guess since it's just kind of on top, it's convenient. Somewhat closely related. Uh, so I got an uh, autograph. Uh, this is from uh, the band box. Uh, I get them occasionally. I uh, feel like in terms of autographs, for the most part, they're doing a lot better than they have been. Uh, their autographs are now Beckett certified. I still don't really get them that often. Uh, for those of you who watched one of my more recent videos, I mentioned that I signed up for BAM Anime, mainly for uh, Avatar The Last Airbender, uh, and, what was oh, Spirited Away. But they recently revealed that they're dropping uh, Avatar The Last Airbender from that box. So I'm really hoping I can get it canceled. Quite frankly, uh, Bandbox's uh, customer service sucks, so my uh, uh, hopes are pretty low for that. So if that happens, chances are they're going to get another uh, bitch review from me for that. Because I feel like uh, every time I get the Bandbox, you know, even when I'm having high hopes, and I feel like all of their boxes before that have been good, it ends up being a bad box and I end up giving a bitch review. So that's probably what's going to happen again for that. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, let's get this open up. I mean, I feel like uh, since they're not sending me, I mean, I understand how subscription boxes work. They usually don't do that type of stuff, but I feel like since they're not sending me what was originally advertised, they should give me the opportunity to uh, back out of it, quite frankly. Uh, so, uh, I can't remember the name of this actress's name, uh, but uh, she was a uh, Rogue, the voice of Rogue in X-Men, the animated series, so pretty cool. See, first name starts with an L, last name starts with a Z, that's all that I can really get out from it. But yeah, it is, of course, Beckett certified, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, I'm going to do this one next, so it's also probably uh, a little bit more in line with... Not necessarily autographs, but movie memorabilia. Uh, 
So uh, I want to give a shout out to the Hoosier Nerd for uh, sharing this on his Instagram. I pretty much immediately ordered one of these when I saw this from. So the name of this company is uh, Mini Museum. They don't actually specialize in a uh, movie memorabilia type stuff, but uh, this is uh, they do more of like a lot of uh, science and history type stuff. But you know, it's a lot of uh, pieces of like you know different artifacts, like you know ancient relics, uh, you know stuff from space. Uh, like oceanography type stuff, uh, technology, really interesting stuff. Uh, I might get some more stuff from them eventually. I mean, this is in general the type of stuff that I like, but this is kind of the main priority, something that I wanted to get really quickly. This honestly, you know, despite all the autographs and other stuff that I have, this might be my uh, new favorite Star Wars item. So, get out of that bubble wrap, a little bit of bubble wrap. ASMR for you. No Star Reviews recently did a really hilarious uh, bubble wrap ASMR video, but uh, this, kind of hard to see it, but this is a uh, piece of the uh, crate Dragon skeleton from Star Wars A New Hope. How cool is that? I'm gonna see if I can pull it out. It's got some pen. Okay, I'm not gonna bother with it, but if I'm not mistaken, the back of this is like a proper COA describing what it is so that's really cool uh, so lastly uh, I got a t-shirt this came in a lot faster than I was expecting it to be I think I have the uh, tracking information for my phone but I don't remember seeing it updating but it's here this is from uh, Clay Graham uh, I initially got into him for his pins. I feel like at this point I have more shirts from him than pins, actually. So let's get it open. Uh, I might know that I'm a uh, huge fan of Futurama, so this is kind of a mashup parody featuring uh, Roberto, who uh, is a little bit more of an obscure character, but he's kind of this uh, even more evil version of Bender, I suppose you could say, but he's this really insane robot. He usually has a knife, and he's obsessed with stabbing people. It says Mad Robot as a, a parody of Bad Robot, which was J.J. Uh, uh, Abrams' production company. Uh, personally, I enjoyed the uh, Star Wars sequel trilogy. I know a lot of people didn't. I do think uh, Last Jedi or whatever movie it would have ended up becoming would have been better off directed by J.J. Abrams, but... Uh, yeah, another uh, movie, he didn't direct it, but he did produce it, that I highly recommend is uh, the first uh, uh, Cloverfield movie. Second one, I enjoyed 10 Cloverfield Lane or whatever, you know, I enjoyed, but it's not nearly as exciting as uh, Cloverfield and uh, Cloverfield Paradox or whatever it's called. It was garbage, but yeah, I do uh, think this is a really cool shirt, so... That's all that I have. Uh, before I upload this video, because I tend to like everything to go together that I do in one day, uh, I'm about halfway through watching, uh, uh, oh, crap. Why do things like this always, Cobra Kai, I'm always forgetting the names of everything just as I need to. There's probably a name for that or mental description of why I, that always happens, seems to happen to me, but, uh, yeah, I'm about halfway through watching Cobra Kai Season 3. I may do a re review for it, and I just might tag it onto this video, so we'll see. If not, it'll probably be some sort of video for tomorrow, but we'll see. I may or may not finish it or today, and I may or not do a review for it. We'll just see how I feel about that, but yeah. All right, so I have uh, Zobie's Fright Pack 3-year anniversary premium hot sauce. Let's see what this shit's like. And I do want to point out that, uh, I'm kind of fold it up in case anybody watches this who hasn't got their box yet, but, uh, you can win a free box in 2021 for doing this. I'm sure most people who try this will, uh, dip it and something or whatever. 
I'm just gonna drink it straight from the bottle. I'll give it a good shake first though. All right. Whew. I've only done that once with hot sauce. I drank a uh, full shot glass of it, actually. Uh, pretty uh, decent hot sauce. I usually normally don't do just straight hot sauce. So I'm not entirely sure what I'll do with this. Uh, might start dipping it over chicken strips or whatever. Just have fun with it. But pretty uh, nice, tasty hot sauce.